A mural that has stirred up some debate in Rush City can now stay, at least for now. City leaders had felt the mural did not follow the right procedure for installed art. But tonight we saw some resolution at special city council meetings. Our Bab Santos is live from Rush City to break down what happened tonight. Babs? Well, originally the city had taken a stance that anything not explicitly permitted in its code was then prohibited. But this business behind me pushed back to defend their mural, saying that that rule was too broad. It's been just emotional because it's just, it's a hard battle to fight. At a special city council meeting on Monday night, this mural on Rush City's Main Street loomed over their small Chisago County community. Anyone who knows us will know that our intent was never to hurt or cause problems. It was to push for unity. Owners of the Hair Do or Die Salon, Aaron and Jason Orr, commissioned this art to promote diversity and unity in rural Minnesota. But then they got this letter informing them that art was a violation of a local ordinance that could lead to fines or jail time. Their options were clear, paint over the mural or face criminal charges. But the Orr's decided that was a misuse of power and a violation of their freedom of speech. This is nothing but bullying, plain and simple. You can't have a valid process for an invalid ordinance. The conflict sparked plans for a rally to save the wall on Saturday, which was later canceled after Mayor Dan Dahlberg called this special meeting. There, his city council voted to withdraw the letter and take no further action, citing deficiencies in the writing of the code. City Council Member Frank Storm. This community doesn't have a diversity problem. Frank Storm? No. Was the lone no vote in a four to one decision? This way it was done wrong. If it's not listed on there, it's not permitted. It's just that simple. Instead, after Monday's meeting, now Rush City's Planning Commission will look into revising the ordinance. I think it's over for now. I think we'll see what happens like with the Planning Commission and what we have to do. At tonight's meeting, the ORS demanded a public apology from the city, also calling on it to revise this ordinance and send them a signed letter ensuring that this mural will remain. So obviously still plenty of unanswered questions here. Live tonight in Rush City, Bab Santos, Fox 9.